Hi, this is Kristen Howe. Welcome, everybody. You're going to experience an amazing call today with our special guest, Moss Sajadi. Now, Moss is a life energizer, infinite healer, and intuitive consultant. Through two near-death experiences, Moss was gifted with astonishing healing abilities. Thousands have benefited from this natural phenomenon in their health, relationships, financial, and spiritual arenas of life. In fact, 99% of Moss's clients report positive change with his healings. And he is one of the fastest growing healers, all due to the most credible source of all, which is client referrals. The Moss method goes far beyond the latest craze in self-help and spirituality to get tangible, rapid results. And Moss helps people all over the world to be instilled with the pure and awaken their internal GPS to automatically and effortlessly be guided toward their fulfilling lives. Now, today's call is going to be absolutely chock full. In fact, Moss let me know, you know, to get in there and ask him the deep questions because he's not afraid of them, and I love that. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Some of the stuff we're going to talk about is, you know, how you can transform your life effortlessly in your health, relationships, spirituality, well-being, and love. Um, We'll talk about what the pureness is and how to get instilled with it. Uh, We will go through, you know, talking about manifesting abundance in all the areas of your life and energizing your inner core for rapid achievement. And we'll also talk about how you can live in a state of well-being and choose a vibrant, healthier you. So, Moss, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really excited to be able to share this with everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this call. Kristen, thank you so much for having me. Um, It's been a pleasure talking to you before the session you know, before the call. So uh, we've got good vibration together, and I look forward to uh, talking to your uh, listeners. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this as well. And I know that everybody now is listening going, wait a minute, two, two near-death experiences. So um, can, you, can you give us a little of your background and amazing story just so I, I, everybody is, I'm sure, wanting to know more? Sure. Well, the first, well, first of all, I just want to explain that, you know, for 20-some years, Kristen, I, I was a I was a programmer. I had my own web development company, so I wasn't into like spirituality. Although I was like always intuitive, you know, even sure. since when I was a little kid, um, you know, I never got into spirituality. I don't know what a lot of things even mean now. You know, they tell me like the solstice or whatever, whatever. You know, but I don't know all the details. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, and maybe that's better that way because I'm just like a newbie coming into this reality, so I see it a little differently. And maybe that's why I'm so powerful. But um, so I wasn't looking for anything into that spiritual realm. But, you know, we, we went on a cruise because I, I used to work so many days. And, you know, we decided to go on a cruise. And, we, you know, so we took the family along and we went to Belize. And uh, we had this inner tubing experience that we could go on. And, you know, Christian, sometimes, you know, when things are supposed to happen in your life, it just it just does. Okay, and just let me give you a clue. First of all, you know, when we booked the inner tubing uh, package on the cruise, uh-huh. we tried to book it, but it was over, it was oversold, so we couldn't get on to it. Okay, we were really okay. bummed out. But then what happened was we get off the ship, and we're kind of like just moping around because we didn't know what to do. We didn't want to go shopping again, you know. So, but as soon as we walked out, there was this guy holding a sign with the exact inner tubing. Um, you know, package. And w- w- the cool thing about that was it was just for six people. And that's how many we were, you know, my wife, uh, me, my my four kids. And it's like everybody else passed that by. It's like they didn't even see this person there. You know, like as if, as if it, we were the only ones that were supposed to see him, you know? So that was like clue number one. And then, you know, we signed up and it was half the price. So, we, you know, we, did, we didn't want to pack that up. So, you know, we get, it takes about an hour to get into the jungle and then another hour walk, um, you know, to get to the river through the jungle. And the jungle is just, just totally, it's just picturesque. It's gorgeous. Um, you know, they got all the birds chirping, you know, you hear animal noises in the background, everything is just so beautiful. And I was mesmerized and we get to the river and we were thinking it was going to be just a, like a family filled, slow moving river. It was like one of the fastest rivers I've ever seen. And, um, and you know, they even had a rope across just in case you fell in. You could hold on to it because if you didn't, you'd get, like, washed away. So we're going, this isn't that much of a family deal. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, 
So we get ready. We they hand out the inner tubes, and um, <clears throat> and then they hand out the life jackets. And then clue number two was that by the time they got to me in this group, they ran out of life jackets. So I was the only one on the group that didn't have a life jacket. Okay. Thinking, well, you know, I'm a pretty strong swimmer. You know, I can handle it. And we're just going to be on the inner tubes anyway. So, so I went along with that. And as we're getting on into, you know, into the river, you know, the guide tells us that um, you have to keep your feet interlocked because if you don't, you might like go away from the group. And if you do, um, you might get sucked into these, um, I think they call it cenotes or something like that, the sinkholes, basically sink, sinkholes in the river where under underground uh, rivers and waterfalls are fed from. Whoa, okay. So, so basically that's what happened. Then clue number three, as soon as we get into the river and we start interlocking feet, it's like the jungle just goes quiet. And, you know, and I noticed that I'm going, why is everything so quiet? I mean, there was no animal noises, no birds chirping. You know, the wind had just like totally stopped. And I'm thinking, you know, how can that be? You know, it was just so unusual, just like a movie scene when something was about to happen. You know, and, and so we get out into the river and like within a minute, something happens. I have to unlock my feet and I start like drifting off right away. And I get sucked into basically this, this, this sinkhole. And what it is, is this, these rocks that jut out, and they have like a man-sized hole cover, you know, about that size, that, that feed these underground rivers. And I got sucked into one of those, just literally got pulled out of my inner tube. And I was in this tunnel, and I was trying to crawl out, you know, but I couldn't because the water pressure was so great. You know, I was, I was um, you know, I had my fingernails, you know, they were pulled off, and my back was all bloody because, you know, I was pushing against the walls just to stay where I was. So I wouldn't get sucked in even further. But, you know, you can only hold your breath so long. And, and that's when things started really happening for me. I mean, it was just amazing. You know, you say, you know, goodbye to all your loved ones and all that stuff. And, and, and then, like, you just let go. And, and that's all you can do. And that, what, what, what happened was, was just beyond belief. It was like, I transcended my, my body. And unlike the first time, my first near death where I saw my life, you know, go by in real time. So basically you live your life like in real time, um, within those, within a flash of a second. Hmm. So, it, so there's no time and distance, obviously, because how can you feel all the feelings and all that, all that stuff, you know, 20 some years of life in a flash, right? So nothing like that happened this time. Um, this time what happened was, it was, it was like this perfect realm and it was beautiful. It was this, this beautiful slate blue and there was no time. There was no distance and I felt totally full and totally com- complete, you know. Um, and if you could imagine the amount of love that I felt, it's like any joyous moment that, you, that you've ever had, you know, you multiply that by a couple million times. That's for the, the, the the extent of the love that you feel is that enormous, and it's just unbelievable. Um, almost makes you want to want to kind of cry, you know, because it's just so beautiful, you know, at that level. Um, and I didn't need I didn't need anything. Um, you know, you think you always like you need your kids or you need your wife or this and that. You know, nothing, nothing at all. Nothing, no finances. You don't think about the past. You don't think about the future. It's just the present state. It just you know, you just are, and you're totally complete by yourself. Um, and then within a snap, um, I found myself about 50 yards above the river in a quieter shallow. So how I got from there to, you know, in a quieter shallow, obviously, you know, divine intervention. But I, I, I don't know how that happened, you know, that physical movement. But because there was no, there was no human intervention because they couldn't get to me. But and I was underwater, according to my wife, for about like eight to ten minutes on that time. So, wow! I don't know how that happened, Christian, but somebody loves me up there. Yeah. You know. So, um, but um, when we get onto the ship, uh, which is amazing, is is that you know I started seeing things like you know after we're done with the crying and you know reuniting and all that, um, um, you know we go to dinner, right and 
and as they were walking you know, down the hallway, it was like I could see these people and they were fuzzy. And I'm going, <laughs> and I kept rubbing my eyes thinking, you know, well, maybe I cried too much or maybe there was something in the water, you know, that made my eyesight fuzzy. I'm going, wow, you know, I, I didn't think anything of it. You know, but when the funny thing was, was when I look at inanimate objects, they were, they were totally clear. So I get into the, we get into the dining room and there's hundreds of people in there, right? Um, and that's when, that's when, like as soon as we open the door and we get in, it's like, um, what happens is that I didn't see the individuals per se. Basically, I saw their spirit. And the spirit is like, you know, if you stick your arms out, that's how big your spirit is all the way around you. And so I saw that and, and with that, I could look at somebody and I could tell it was just like I was connecting instantaneously to them and, and just had a knowing about their life. And I have never met these individuals, but you know, it's like I know, it's like I could feel what they were like, you know, tastes, dislikes, things like that. If they were having like, you know, liver issues, kidney issues, it's like I could scan their body and go, Oh, and guy's got a bad back or whatever. And, and that kept coming. You know, no matter who I looked at, it, and I'm going, God, what is going on? You know, I thought I was going crazy. Um, and I actually told my wife that too. Like, oh, God, you know, I'm hearing these voices. You know, she's going, well, it's okay. It's been a stressful day. <laughs> so um, I didn't think anything of it. You know, uh, nothing really big happened after that. But four months later, I started getting depressed, you know, because everything was so light up there. You know, and you get into this denser state. And you have issues here and where everything is perfect there. So you naturally, and that's your natural state, actually. So you're actually attracted to that, uh, to that pureness state as well. So, um, you know, we started, I started getting depressed, but then I also got drawn into like a series of meditations. Um, and from these meditations, I was gifted with, you know, a lot of knowledge from a lot of questions, things like that, that a lot of us have, you know, a lot of, a lot of religious, questions, things like that were answered, mm. a lot of, um, you know, fundamental knowledge that, you know, we, we kind of live our lives by, but never really understood why. So things like that happen. And then also, I, again, I was gifted to tapping into those higher realms where I can actually, well, uh, you know, reprogram you at a spirit level, you know, versus this energy level where a lot of people are in, you know, like the Reiki type healers or other types of healers that are out there. They're at a, like a medium type level, but it, it's like I, 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 I got surpassed and went into that highest level, you know, that we can really go in this, in this physical entity or this physical body. So I can really literally like manipulate, you know, you, at your spirit level. And that's where the people get the rapid results or these, um, unbelievable stories that they email me with. Um, and from there, you know, my first, I guess, client was my wife. Uh, you know, she used to get these headaches all the time, which debilitated her. And, you know, one day I just said, well, let me work on you. And I didn't even know what that meant, but it was just so automatic. Just like getting into meditation, mm. it was so automatic for me. You know, it was just like I was guided. Uh, so and I wrapped my hands around her head and like within a minute, her headache was gone. And you know, I looked at her and she looked at me and was like, God, my headache's gone. And I'm going, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, and, you know, it happened again. I put my hands on her and, you know, it went away. Uh, and this was the stuff, I mean, her headaches were really bad. They, they were like prescription type medication that didn't really help her. So it was at that level. Um, um, so, you know, I started research to doing on like what I, you know, what was I into. And the closest thing I could come was like a quantum type, um, you know, like quantum physics, quantum healing, that kind of stuff. But it, it goes far beyond, you know, the normal quantum healing that, that we might recognize. So, you know, I started working on family and friends, friends of friends, and then just strangers would call me up. It's like, you know, you did this for somebody and, it, you know, they helped them so much. Can you help me do this? So, and then that's how it's turned into a business. And through that, I've been working on thousands and thousands of people. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so, you know, luckily at this point, there's been enough exposure. Mm -hmm. So what makes your healing different than some of the other healers out there? Um, I think it's the level of purity, actually, that comes through. Uh, you know, because okay. a lot of times, and, and that's what a lot of people come and tell me, 
come back and tell me or, you know, psychics or people who can read, you know, who are really right. intuitive, they come and, and they go, you know, your energy, your energy is like the purest I've seen or the most solid I've seen, I've ever hmm. seen. So, um, Interesting. so that, yeah, and that's the feedback that I get, you know, because cause I want to know what's going on because I'm really inquisitive. I'm a programmer. You know, so right, I need like right. I need I need stuff that works. You know, I need I need proof that the stuff works. Um, wow. Okay. It, yeah, <laughs> I like that. So and and then I think another reason is too is that when I work on people, I get to the core foundation, um, and people have gone to other healers or some other fact, and you know they get some results, things like that. But you know when when they come to me, it's like they get like rapid, much faster results without a lot of issues uh, hmm. behind it or things to do. It just like transforms them rather than, okay, you have to go home and do this or you have to do this or that, you know? It's just like they get an infusion or an installation of a frequency that corrects that issue and then they just live it out. Wow, very cool. Okay, so you you talked mm-hmm. about pureness. Can you Can you tell mm-hmm. me, you know, describe to us a little more of what pureness is? Okay. Um, pureness, I guess the other word is God, but I don't like to use God because, mm. you know, it's been, it's been tainted so much. And, sure. and my definition of that pureness is basically that, uh, that source where everything is created from and everything goes back to. Okay. So no matter if you're like an animal or a person or whatever it is, it's, it, it or the darkness, you know, that dark energy, things like that, that, you know, mm-hmm. people talk about, um, it's all created from that one source. Okay. And okay. when you connect to that, when you connect to that source, everything works for you. Everything is provided. You know, if you, if you realize like, for example, animals, right, everything is provided for them naturally. It's that right. abundance that they live in. Right. So whatever that source is, you know, created for you, it creates the abundance that helps you survive as well, you know, if you want it. And th- and that's the difference between what makes us humans and, you know, animals, because they're naturally connected to it, so they naturally have that abundance all the time, and they're in that present state, okay? Um, but humans, you know, they, they've got that, you know, thought process where they can disconnect from it if they want. Okay. But, yeah, and that makes, that makes complete sense. So how do... Mm-hmm. How do we do that? How do we transform our lives? And you even said, you know, effortlessly. So in our health, our relationships, right. spirituality, all of all of those good areas that we're all like, how do we how do we do that? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and deal with the fact that we're human. How do we how do we do that? Right. You know, a lot of times, Kristen, we lose ourselves being human, you know, mm-hmm. because we think we're all this all powerful being, and we can really change our destinies by by having like more, more uh, positive motivation or setting goals. Or, you know, well, thinking positive or hanging around positive people and all that, you know, but, you know, how many of those um, self-help books, I mean, I used to read a ton of them, never really helped, <laughs> um, you know, here and there, bits and pieces, but how many self-help books have been out there and how many of those people actually, you know, get help from those or, or even like you go to a chiropractor, you know, for years and years and years, right, and, and they can't. Um, and they still have that issue, right, or whatever it is. But what happens is, 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 you know, instead of like goal setting or setting intentions or anything of that nature, you know, you can do this yourself. You know, I can help you a lot faster connecting because mm-hmm. I've been there before. So I can kind of, it's like, well, this is the way um, type deal. Um, but basically, it's like you just ask, how do I connect to the pure source? And that's it. So whether you're doing your meditation, whether, you know, you don't have any other intentions, you don't go, okay, today, you know, I'm going to meditate on feeling better, you know, because, I mean, think about it. You, you know, if you're a creator, right, mm-hmm. even even at, at the even at the mindset of like you're the creator of your life, you know, you say, okay, today I'm thinking about feeling better. Well, that just programmically, I mean, I'm a, I'm a computer guy, so it's like in your first position, you're not feeling good now, so but you want to feel better. Right. Right. Does that make sense? So it's like you go back to that mindset and the universe creates that not feeling better part. Or I want more money. 
right? Mm, yeah. so obviously, you're lacking money now. That's because you want more money. So what do you get? And what do you focus on? Or what do you worry on? You know? Right. The, the thing of not having money or the thing of not feeling good or the thing of, or the thing of oh, this event is not going to go good for me. Whatever. Well, that's what gets created. I mean, if you have that mindset anyway. Right. So if you let go of that or if you do the other mindset, it's like, gosh, you know, I want this event to be good. You know, if you're like like public speaking is, you know, scary for a lot of people. It's like, So when you do that, it's like, well, it, it, it seems like you're going to mess up anyway. And that's what you're right. creating by goal setting. really. So instead of all that stuff, you know, you just you just you just connect to that pure to that pure source just by saying. How do I connect to the pure source? And just focus on that all day long, you know, or whenever you get that chance, just focus on how do I connect to that pure source? And you'll start to see that your spirit actually comes in because that's what wants. That's this transmission of, you know, where we're more connected, where we start to see um, the physical reality through our spiritual eyes. And that's what basically what you're doing. So when you start saying that, you know, your spirit comes comes around your body more. And it mm-hmm. just literally just guides you to where you need to go or where you want to go. And that's what you want anyway. Um, you know, cause, cause when you set goals or set intentions or want this or that, first of all, we don't know what we want really. You know, if you think about it. Sure. And then second of all, your scope of vision of what you want is so limited that, you know, you're missing what's out there, what could be out there for you. Really. Right. So, so basically, you, we don't we don't even understand everything that we could possibly have. So we're I mean, and right. correct me if I'm wrong, but basically anything we would ask for is going to be far, far less abundant. And I don't just mean financially abundant than than we can actually have. Is that kind of what you mean? That is that is perfect. Exactly. I mean, take a look at me. I never wanted to be or never had the insight of being a healer. Or helping people in this way, you know, right. I've always, I, you know, my dream was actually younger when I, uh, you know, I wanted to be a doctor to help people, but it, it never transpired. But now, you know, in essence, you know, I basically in my business, really, you know, I wanted to get to a place where I could create a program and then sell it for a couple million dollars and relax. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. So this was far beyond my scope of vision for myself Um, and becoming a healer is is much more uh, rewarding to me because I help thousands of people and you know and the money you know the money comes in as well so which is nice as well so it's Mm -hmm. the best of both worlds and in later I'd like to talk about abundance because a lot of people have issues with you know wealth abundance but um, so do you see how that works Absolutely. So if you let that I, I, spirit happen to you, then you'd be amazed at what the results would get. Um, so let's I, and I and I that does, you know, that makes you know what you know how how I felt when you said that when you said just how did you say it just connect with you know ask how can I connect with with the pureness basically the pure right store? yeah okay right. so when you said that I actually <laughs> I literally felt relief I felt Good. like. Oh God, I don't need to think about it that hard. <laughs> um, so, so does that is that does that make sense? Is that a good response? It, it does. In my head? You really don't need to think about it because mm. everything is, it'll just happen to you naturally, and then you know your spirit and your thoughts actually start to coincide. So uh-huh. it's, you're in harmony. So basically, you're in dis- disharmony when your life is not going well. Really. Okay. So. So actually, so, you want you wanted to talk about abundance. Let's talk about that because that's mm-hmm. where a lot of people are in disharmony, especially when it does come to financial abundance. So, go for right. it. Right. Um, well, first of all, what's going on like in this world right now is mm-hmm. there's a process. You know, the auric field. Like, you know, you have your auric field called the uh, what the chakras. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then ab- above that, there's other auric fields, and you know, like the city auric fields and the what the state or field and all that stuff kind of gets, you know, and it combines and it works on you and eventually you get to the universal or field and beyond that. Right. So all those or fields actually have an effect on you. 
Okay. So a lot of people now they're in that financial stress. I mean, a lot of us have left, like lost jobs or done this, or they're under a lot of pressure, whatever our financial systems are in moves, things like that because of, of the, of the, of that pressure coming through uh, and the pressure is basically like clarity. Um, you want to be more transparent. And so these financial industries, you know, they're going down, right? Or they're cleaning up or they're clarifying whatever they're doing. They need to like, um, be in a place where this transition, um, this new transition is coming in of that, um, of, 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 of more transparency, in the, you know, like a win-win situation for everybody. Okay. So we're going to have a lot of economic distress coming up. Although it's going to be a banner year, I think for the rest of this year, it's going to be a lot of economic distress. And if you're connected to this, this pure source, um, like I said before, you'll be taken care of abundance wise, no matter if it's like money, food, um, relationships, whatever. Okay. And if you're not, you're going to be sucked up with the auric field or the force of the auric field from all these other auric fields above you. Hmm. Okay. Just like, just like animals, you know, who, um, who sense, who sense danger coming and they get nervous or antsy or anxious. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening right now. I see a lot of people who are nervous, anxious, and it's not their stuff. It's just what they're feeling. Interesting. And I, and I so agree with you on that. And I, you know, part of why I've actually and had, you know, some of the best years of my life during this sort of economic downturn, I am convinced mm -hmm. is because I didn't, um, I, it's almost like I didn't engage in it. I didn't engage in the energy of the panic and all of that. So how right. do you, how, what's, you know, because it is easy. So I can, the, I'm, I am now the voice of everybody listening who's going, that's great. But when I'm surrounded by it, or when I have this negative energy pulling at me from all mm -hmm. sides, how do I, how do I not engage? How do I stay connected to pure source when all of that is happening in the world around me that, you know, you're actually involved in? How do, how do you do right. that? Um, it's, it's really, really easy. And, and, you know, a lot of people, they put like shields around themselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of energetic type people or spiritual type people, you know, but really, you know, shielding, I mean, it's good, but, um, it, but how about if you just increase your frequency by connecting to or tapping into that pure source, you know, and then you're protected automatically, just kind of like the sun that doesn't really need protection, right? Because mm -hmm. it's just so powerful, right? Or or people ask me, is like, well, you know, how do you protect yourself? And I work on hundreds and hundreds of people, you know, um, you know, in the course of a week. And it's like, well, don't you get any of their junk? I go, no, because I vibrate at such a high level. That the mm. E doesn't just—it's like Teflon. It do, it doesn't stay there, um, and and that's what you can do too. Is like you know once you're connected, it's like you have automatically got this protection grid around you that just kind of guides you, you know, into that abundance. And and I'm not saying that you know everything's going to be, you know, peachy, you know, and <laughs> you're going to be living a fantasy land. But the things that you go through, okay. Um, the issues that you go through are going to be uh, are going to have tools for you there provided, so you can go through them a lot better, a lot happier. Okay, you know that it's not the end, basically, and it's just an experience that you're having, and you're okay with it, and you find better solutions to it as well. Um, uh, the other course, of course, is getting sucked under and you know drowning and all that stuff. Right. Okay. I assume this isn't just for, you know, financial stuff. This is with – what happens – okay, this is a great question. If I do say so myself, no. But this is – I don't know what, where that came from. But let's say we're, um, you know, in a relationship with someone and suddenly there's mm -hmm. conflict, okay? Right. How do you disengage from the energy of the conflict without it meaning that you disengage from the person? Does that make sense? It does. It does. And like when I tap into you, I can, it's like almost like a history log, like what type of relationships, you know, that person has had, you know, mm -hmm. if that's their issue. And it's like, they actually attract the same relationship over and over and over mm -hmm. again. You know, and basically what that is, is that frequency, you know, that they're creating, that they're emanating, just like a radio station, you know, and, and the people that are out there are going, oh, well, I hear that 
you know, that I like that music and, it, you know, and, and then they get attracted. So, you know, you change your frequency, right? Um, and then you start attracting different people or what happens most of the time, uh, or actually what happens all the time really is that, um, literally when, you know, when I change frequencies for people, um, if they're having issues with the relationship, either that person that they're having issues with, like switch, they mm -hmm. just like, a lot of times they just like transform because they're not, you know, uh, uh, releasing that frequency. So that person doesn't have to be the way they are. Anymore, okay. So if they're meant to be together, you know, they get closer. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise something happens and they, you know, separate. Um, and you, and they'll start to find like their friends kind of like start to disappear. The ones that are huh. no, you know, no value to them anymore. Um, and then they attract new ones that come into being for them. And without really doing anything. So the only thing you really, really have to do with this type of work is really just notice what you notice. Hmm. Just be in that present state. Because, you know, when you start judging things like this relationship is bad or whatever, whatever. Right. Um, you're judging what's been created from your higher level. And, and that's what gets you in trouble. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Okay. Um so talk to me about how we can energize our inner core for rapid achievement. I love, you know, so many, everybody out there listening is going, yay, rapid achievement. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so how do we do that? Um, well, again, it, 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 the, the core, the, well, the core essence is really tapping into that inner source. And, and mm -hmm. people always ask me, it's like, well, can you teach me how to do this? And it's like, what's the one, two, three steps? You know, because right. all the other you know, seminars or whatever that's out there or self improvement books or whatever. It's like, okay, you know, you got to go to class and you got to write down the essay to do this or to do that or whatever. Right. And there's, it, it's nothing like that at all. You know, it, it's just like, if you start to vibrate at a certain frequency, then one, you start acting like that individual that you're becoming a lot faster. Okay. Hmm. And then two, you start attracting like the people, places, things that help you become that individual at a much faster rate. It's like, it's almost like the secret, the stuff that you learn on, you know, the secret, but just on steroids because this actually works for you. Um, so statistically, they were saying that a lot of the people who did the secret, they, um, you know, for most of them, for most of the people, it didn't work because there was that one key ingredient missing. And this is that, you know, missing key ingredient. Um, so basically, if you just let go, tap into yourself, and let, you know, your higher abilities, like, start to um, guide the show, mm. you'll be tapped in. Um, and this actually goes for people who've been, who've been, like, ill for years and years and years. You know, they go from one illness to the other illness to the other illness, right? They never get well, right? They keep going to doctors. And it's because they have this frequency of, like, ill health. So no matter what illness they have, they have to have an illness. So you remove that frequency again, and then miraculously they feel, they feel fine. Well, it's like, and, and it depends on the spirit, because obviously, you know, the spirit has a life, of course. But right. if your spirit's willing to change, you know, then, you know, you get cured from cancer or because I've seen, like, tumors uh, just totally gone. And they're, like, stage wow. three or stage four type cancers. You know, they're, they're totally gone. Or they're back to third and straight So, wow. you know, you clean that up and you start to get, yeah, you start to get purified, you know, and your frequency vibrates at, at the default state or that pure essence that you were created from. And then everything seems to work out. It's really wow, that's amazing! It, that's yeah, hard. it's one of those. It's one of those things where I'm listening to it and I'm going, "Yes, that that makes so much sense," and it, and it sort of is resonating in my being. And then my brain is going, mm -hmm. well, "Well, how the heck can you do that?" And you know, wow, that takes yep. a lot of faith, and you know that sort of thing. But you know, it I guess it doesn't take a lot of faith at all. You don't even have to have that faith, uh, Kristen. I work on people through people, so they don't even know that they're worked on, being worked on. Wow. You know, like a lot of like mothers, they come to me 
um, and their their children show up because their spirit actually wants to get healed, right? Mm-hmm. But they don't know how. So I work on them through their mothers, and then like a week or two later, they go, you know, they call up their mom and go, "Mom, you know, I've decided to go through this treatment or whatever," and they and they sober up. So you don't even have to have faith in in, in this stuff. I love that, really. I, and I love that you just you said know. that, and I, I, because I actually agree with that. Um, so everybody listening, you don't even have to have faith that you know. And and I agree. I think it's it's so powerful and it's so true, and it's just a matter of. As you said, it it's almost like it's our new mantra when we catch ourselves getting, you know, connected, engaged in negative stuff. Is you know, how mm-hmm. can I best connect to, to higher higher source or purest source or whatever whatever it is right. for for you. Um, right. So you said that you would uh, share with us a, a medi healing session with us. Is that mm-hmm. something that we can do? Yes. Yes, and, 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 and apparently this is something where literally everybody, as you're listening, you can feel results. You know, you can feel it immediately. Is that is that correct? Right. Yeah. For about ninety, about ninety eight percent or ninety five to ninety eight percent of people do feel something right away, whether it's like a movement or you know some kind of warmness, warmness or something in their in their in their being. Um, the other small percentage they actually feel something like later on. So it doesn't mm. work on like uh, everybody. So. Wow. Okay. Um, well, I would love if you would if you would do that with us. Okay. Yeah. We'll just do like say a five minute. That's session. perfect. And, and this actually works on replays. Um, people, you know, they meditate with me all the time and they listen to the replays, and um, you know, it still works the same for them. So. Wow. Great. So we'll we'll get started and and I do a stand up meditation. System. Okay. So if everybody can just like stand up, if obviously if you're driving, listen to <laughs> don't, this, don't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you can't stand up, it's okay. You know, wherever you're relaxed, but best is uh, uh, standing up, and then we'll get started. And I can and I can like talk um, while we do this. So we'll do like a group healing and meditation together. And basically, you know, we're most Meditation have you like leave your body or ascend. You know, this meditation actually brings your spirit into your body, so you start to see the physical reality through your spiritual eye, um, and it stays with you all day long rather than being uh, you know one or one hour or half hour that you're in meditation. So we'll get started. And we'll start with um, well, let's start with our fingertips. Really, a lot of people, you know, Christian, they they. They use their hands, they use their fingers, but they really don't pay attention to how often, you know, those fingers are. You know, they really don't even notice them. You know, so, you know, you can start by looking at the fingertips and what they do, the jobs that they do, the jobs that they can perform. You know, and, and once you can really get into that microcosm of just your fingers, you know, it's like this whole new world opens up for you. And that sense of awareness that comes into play when that happens kind of guides you into a relaxed state. Okay. And when you get into this relaxed state, you might start to feel that the tension in your body, you know, perhaps from the neck, a lot of people carry tension around their neck or shoulder area, it starts to release. It's like snapping a finger and poof, you know, it's pretty much gone. As we go back into our fingers and just looking at our hands, and if we created a computer program, um, first of all, they probably couldn't create a computer program that could you know, mimic the hands. So the abilities of your hands in itself is just an amazing feat. And when you start to get into how awesome that ability is, you start to connect with that source that actually created that ability. And then when you start to do that, you might feel a lot lighter, a sense of letting go, whether it's your lower back relaxing, in that hip area, hip structure, it's relaxing and letting go of all that tension, whether it's letting go of what you need to do next in a certain situation. 
We're just letting go of any blocks, any tension, anything that you've created in this lifetime, anything that's been created with, from others, anything that's been created from past lifetimes that you've been brought over. You just let go of that. As easy as just listening to the sound of my voice. And as we start to notice that release, and the feeling in our thighs, and our knees, and our calves, we start to feel like a warm sensation go through them, or even a tingling, some type of vibration. It just gives you further confirmation that, well, you're getting more connected to that source that guides everything that you do. And when you do that, you automatically get guided by that source. So just noticing your physical body at this time will automatically connect you to that pure source. So become aware of that. And as we get into our bodies, left off soles of our feet, ankles, soles of our feet, we can let go of all that tension that's been created. Just notice that tension just release from the soles of your feet and get recycled into the universe. All those frequencies. And even now, if you've never heard me before, so I just start to notice your ankles and all the tension from your body. So, we can let go of all that tension from our past lives, our current experiences, any block that we've had. We can feel those blocks or those frequencies exit our feet and the soles of our feet and into the universe. And unlike other meditations where you disconnect, we really don't want to disconnect because we want our spirit guiding us, you know, the rest of the day, right? So what we do, instead of just disconnecting, we want our spirit there. So all we have to do is just open our eyes and just become aware of, of our surroundings, of our time and space right here. And in the background, throughout what, whatever you're doing, Throughout the day, you can probably feel like an extra presence around you. That's actually your spirit. So just be aware of that after this session. Okay? How do you feel, Kristen? Uh, Amazing. I feel like I weigh 30 pounds less. Good. I'm so glad. Probably it's all that uh, worrying and all that stuff that we do that we don't need to do because it doesn't help anyway. You know? Yeah, it's it's funny. It's the stuff that you don't necessarily even realize is. Right. It's almost like it's the stuff that's running in the back of your brain that you don't even realize is there. And True. yeah, so having that sort of that awareness on my hands, I started to feel almost like um, like if I were to move my hands around, you'd see like streaks of light where the where my hands mm-hmm. were. Right. And people do see that. Really? So. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, when I do when I do seminars things like that, they actually mm-hmm. say that I fade out and all they see is like this bright white light. Um, you know, and some people, you know, if they're like Christian, they'll go, you know, oh, I saw Jesus working through, you. or if they're right. uh, whatever, they say, oh, you know, I saw uh, the Buddha, you know, working through you. So whatever religion that they believe in, it's like they, you know, they, that'll pop in for them. So. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's not. It's not a religious-based deal. It's just, to them it is. So that's what mm-hmm. they see. But it's more right. like a spiritual. So. Well, yeah, that was. It was. That was just such a. Yeah, I feel very calm. I feel very buoyant. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, that's exciting. That's a really exciting well, thing. So actually, so well, what that makes me want to do is find out um, maybe some stories of some people that that you've worked with with this. You know, any. Mm-hmm. 
because I know that you've people experience rapid transformation with you. So uh, can you share a couple of stories with us? Sure. This is the first one is kind of uh, it's a little bit off. Okay, but I'll share it with you. Uh, okay, great. Because it happens to it happens to deal with like dead people hanging out. But basically, okay. what happened was I do a lot of remote sessions worldwide, and uh, this lady she called me up from Israel, and she she's been having these he- severe headaches for the past like five six years. Okay? okay. So you know we set up the session, we start talking, and it immediately it's like her mother like pops in, you know, and, and this is through Skype. And it's like, I'm going, you know, who's this lady? You know, she's like right in my face. And I'm going, you know, and, I, and I'm sitting there like talking to her just like as if I'm talking to you. That's how wow. clear she was to me, you know? And I'm going like, well, who are you? It's like, well, I'm her mom. And she's telling me stories about, you know, her daughter. And I'm relaying this, you know, I'm just saying, well, did you do this at age whatever? Or did you do this at age whatever? And she, they go, she goes, yeah. You know, like, how did you know? It's like, well, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> you know, and then and then what happens is it, it, it basically it, 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 she starts telling me that, that she was at an airport and this is how she died. She was okay. at an airport with her daughter. Okay, she and all of a sudden she collapses. She goes, God, I have this terrible headache. She collapses right in line and dies right there. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Um, and from that point on, well, one. The mother, because there is no time or space distance, you know, in the other worlds, she, that mother, she's been living that experience over and over and over again for the past, like, five, six years. Wow. From that moment. So, basically, it's like you have an amnesia, you know. Mm-hmm. You live an experience, and then you go back and, like, live it again, just like as, as if it's, like, the first time. It's like that movie, The 51st States. I don't know if you ever saw that. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's a fun move. Yeah, she just lived that. Yeah, she just relived that whole thing over and over again. But then what happened was, you know, so I'm relaying this, and and her, you know, and her daughter's going, you know, that's exactly what happened. And I go, so what happened was, I I helped release her mother because it's basically her mother that actually wanted the session with me because she wanted to get out of the state. And uh-huh. you know, people say that you know the spirits are pure and you want to connect to your spirit and all that. Stuff. Spirits aren't that pure. <laughs> so, you know, they come along with baggage from past lives or family lineage and all that stuff that you bring about. And a lot of that, our issues are caused by that. So when you remove those issues, you know, medical stuff or financial stuff or whatever tends to go away as well. So anyway, I helped her mother, you know, go to a higher light or higher place, vibration. And, and you know, she felt okay then. Okay. But then like a week later, she called me up and she goes, I haven't had my head. And, and, you know, it's like a month or two later, um, she called me up and she goes, I haven't had any headaches. My relationship has gotten better, you know, with, with, I don't know, her, her daughter as well, you know, stuff like that. So, wow. And, and she had gone to doctors for years and years, you know, and they thought it was her eyes or they thought it was this or that, you know, all this stuff. But it was just as simple as that. Wow. Um, yeah, I know. This is strange. Um, and like I said, you know, there have been there have been cases where, you know, like tumors have disappeared. Um, this next one though, is really, really nice. It's heartwarming. Is this woman, you know, she comes to me with a bad back. Mm-hmm. You know, so I just, because I do adjust physically, I can adjust you. Um, and I don't even have to touch you just like a chiropractor, you know. Right. And, and so basically, um, you know, I was adjusting her back, and then her son kept popping into the picture, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm going, well, what's up with your son, you know, and he's like, is he okay? And, and, she, and she just started bawling right there, and she goes, no, I haven't spoken to my son in over 20 years, um, you know, he's got a drug problem, he's addicted to this, 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 whatever, you know, we haven't spoken or anything like that in over 20 years. So I asked them, I, I asked her, I go, well, do you mind if I work on your son? And she goes, no, go ahead. And most of the session was working on her son. And, you know, then she felt good. And we did another session about about a month later. And I worked on her son again. And like a week after that session, um, she called, she emailed me and goes, you know, out of the blue, my son called. 
And she goes, Mom, you know, uh, I've had it with this drug stuff. I'm going into treatment. And he finished treatment a lot faster than normal. Um, and then she sends me in like an email during Christmas time and just thanking me so much. Um, and I was totally humbled by the email. And, and basically, he goes, this is the first time I've seen my, uh, my grandson um, and my grandson's five. So they haven't spoken in over 20 years, you know. So the whole family got reunited. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, so, um, I mean, that, th- those are the kind of stories. And, and, and it's, not like, um, it's not like I actually, I do the healing, Kristen. Mm-hmm. Okay. But basically what happens is that, you know, I, I, I open the gate for you so you can experience that connection, and that connection actually does the healing for you. Um, I see. Although I get, you know, I, although I get guided by, you know, like reprogramming you, things like that, I do do that for you. So the nice thing is that that ex- once you get connected, that expansion keeps happening for you. So it's not just like, okay, this is over with. And like, for example, like a chiropractic session, you don't go back to your old adjustment. It just keeps expanding. Right. For you. Because that connection gets stronger and stronger. Because once you open those floodgates, it's really hard to close. Right. <laughs> Truly. Yep. Okay. So that, that that's amazing. I mean, it's just – and is there any area of your life where this – where connecting with source in this way does not, you know, help you create abundance or tap into abundance or manifest abundance? No, because it's your natural state. Abundance is your natural right. Um, You know, we've been brought up thousands of years of education, religious, um, whatever, you know, thinking that there's um, lack or anything like that. But if if you connect to that source, everything is created for you. Hmm. That's amazing. And and that's part of what I get so excited about and part of why I was so excited to bring you on is – I love exposing people to something that is just a a little bit, maybe something that they haven't heard before or heard it in that way. And I just think what you're doing, yes, it is in some ways the most natural thing that any of us could have heard about. So it's funny that we haven't, oh. um, you know, but, but so I, I love that. You're right. Yeah. And I love that I'm able to, to bring you to everybody. And I know you put together a special, uh, a special package for everybody. You can simply click on the special offer button that is on this page and it will take you right there. Moss, if you can let everyone know what we'll find there, that'd be great. You know, this is really a fantastic package. It's all downloadable so you can start right away. And it's really a comprehensive package as well because it it affects every aspect of your life. You know, the health, the wealth, uh, uh, personal relationships, and then that spirituality as well. Again, and grabbing all four corners uh, to bring you into that 360 degrees of abundance. You know, the first one, first product that's out there, it says how to set affirmations that really work. You know, just statistically over 98% of the, the goals that have been set really don't turn out to be anything. And a lot of us actually, you know, we fail our goals, but most importantly, we never follow through with them. So this MP3 actually shows you how to set goals that really help you materialize things. And then also, what's behind those goals, right? How to create that um, that push or that drive, right, that, that turns those goals into reality. That's the secret that we're going to be learning about. I'm going to be helping you instill those goals from spirit level, not the physical level, right? That way, what will happen is that you get uh, naturally attracted to whatever you need rather than uh, doing it at a physical level as well, making your affirmations come truer faster. The second product is uh, is a 30-minute MP3, and it's part of the Frequency Spa series, uh, which is uh, weight loss and eating disorders. You know, a lot of times we see ourselves going into a, a weight loss program or, say, other issues, but... For example, weight loss program, and you know we tend to yo-yo. We tend to lose the weight, and then something happens, and we gain the weight back. You know what we do is go back into what actually causes you to have that weight gain, 
Okay. And again, it's about all getting healthy, but this is just an example. Obviously, weight loss, eating disorders, it, you might have the opposite effect as well, where you can't gain the weight. But in this example, I'm just I'm just talking about weight gain. So we go back to the core issues of why you're having issues with, say, gaining weight or losing weight. And once those issues are resolved, it's a lot easier to to come into and attract foods that are well, one, naturally just better for you, and then two, easily stay away from foods that aren't that great for you. So it's a natural process, and those habits get instilled with you, so you don't have to, say, die it, right? You don't have to die to be at a healthy weight for you. It just It's just a natural frequency that gets instilled in you. The next package is really about conquering the mind and healing fear. You know, fear is, again, a fantastic emotion, but for the most part, most of us have learned to use fear in an improper method. Okay? That's why fear starts to rule us. But in reality, what this, what this uh, MP3, this 30-minute MP3 of a frequency of meta-healing that we did is, is really about turning fear into fantastic tool for you to use so you not only can control your fear but then use that tool to turn those blocks into stepping stones so you can go much further ahead the next mp3 that we have it's 15 minutes it's a it's a frequency meta healing rejuvenating the body and anti-aging and really this this came about where you know i do a lot of sessions in the la area where they tend to go to, you know, the salons or spas and do, you know, uh, Botox or other dermabrasions or anything like that to help, you know, you look more beautiful or younger and so on. But what they were finding out is that, you know, when the women that came to me and were doing those type of uh, treatments, they started to realize that those treatments were lasting, you know, maybe two, three, four, five, even like six to ten times longer than before the sessions with me. So we decided, hmm, you know, if we can do that, and this was just a, a, a side benefit. So, you know, we decided to create an actual meta healing where we started to instill or lock you back in time where, again, back to an age where, you know, you were vibrant. You say that beauty that came in, that naturally resilient looking skin or supple skin, you know, all those get locked into a time loop. So you start to age more beautifully, but then also start to look younger on that as well. Just for example, every time people look at me, if they haven't seen me for a while, they say I look a lot younger. So it's really kind of a nice uh, side benefit, wouldn't you say? This one, the next 15-minute MP3, again, uh, frequency meta healing is enlightening the spirit, connection to the pure source. You know, this is really the core of everything that I uh, everything that I really teach, and, it, and it's really beautiful. Is is once you're connected to that pure source, you know, you really don't have to do anything else. If you don't listen to any of the other meditations or CDs that that's in this package, I would keep listening to this over and over again because again, it's not anything I do, but but it's really about connecting to pure source. So it's between you and pure source. And once that pure source comes in, your natural beauty, your natural light that you truly are comes out, starts to shine. And that's what starts guiding you into a truer, more positive, say light and path into your life. And finally, we all want uh, that financial abundance. A lot of times we try, people try so many different ways. Uh, in fact, even statistically, again, uh, going back to statistics, a lot of people you know, that have won lotteries, so within six to nine months, w what happens to those lottery winnings? They actually lose, if not all, more than what they started out with. So why does that happen? Again, that's because those frequencies of, say, non-wealth are running somewhere within you. So you start to change those frequencies. You instill frequencies of wealth into you, and naturally money or finances start coming in or sort of start getting attracted to you. And I know this sounds way out there, but you know it's been proven time and time and time again that once the frequencies of wealth start 
resonating in you, you naturally start attracting, you know, wealth into your life effortlessly. And you transform into a wealthy person. Organic relationships. This pretty much similar to financial abundance, but this is that resonance or frequency resonance of relationships. You know, most people, they go from relationship to relationship to relationship. And what do they find out? It turns out to be the exact same relationship than they had before. All they did was switch people around. You know, they get the same results. They get the same disconnected feeling or anything like that, right? That happens in a relationship, and that's why we keep searching. But really, that that place of search really should turn around and look at what you are sending out to attract the people that you are. So what I do is help you change the frequency that you're sending out, just like a radio station. Not feeling loved, feeling controlled, you know, all those little innuendos of relationships, right? That kind of distorts us. This MP3, uh, organic relationships, is really transforming those frequencies that resonate within you so you start attracting a different group of individuals for you, whether they're friends, lovers, or even family start treating you different. Uh, Just as a word of caution, guys, this is quite powerful if that relationship is not meant to be for you. If you are in a current relationship, things might break apart a lot faster for you, okay? Uh, And if it is, it'll start to transform where you get a lot closer. So either way, you know, uh, looking at it down the line, it's the most beneficial for you, but I just want you to be aware of that. Um, and if you're not in a relationship, say a love relationship, you will get, say, start getting attracted or you start forming those habits, right, or personality traits that will in the end, and I'm not talking years or anything like that, but maybe like weeks or months, okay, that you start changing into that person that can attract say, the person of like that helps you, say, grow independently. So you grow complete, they grow complete, and together you send higher into, you know, a more, again, more organic relationship. So, again, a fantastic package, guys. And you can listen to these, you know, and do the meditations, or they have the same powerful, powerful effect if you put them on a loop and listen to them while you're sleeping or even while at work or, you know, during the day, it, you don't have to listen to them completely. But just as long as you can hear them in a low tone, uh, that has amazing abilities, we found out as well. Everybody, this is, you know, it, it might sound, and I just want to reinforce this, it might sound so simple, and all I want you to do is remember uh, the source of, of where you've heard all of this, which is from someone who was a programmer. and you know, self-admittedly, you had no background in any of this. Isn't that right? Right. I had no background. And, you know, I'm not here to say, you know, how great I am or whatever. But basically my message is to say, hey, you know, look what I've stumbled onto. We all have that ability. And let me guide you on how to how, how to get to that ability. I think that's beautiful. And I think it's important to realize that um, if this resonated with you, it is something worth checking out. And I say that from my personal experience, that when something resonates with you in this way, it is definitely something worth delving into because, and Maz, I would guess that you would say this as well, that is uh, you being guided, uh, so to speak. Right. So, um, so and, definitely. And I, and I have a rule set, too. I only that? work with people. Kristen, I only work with people that want to change. So that's why I have such a high success rate. So if you Mm -hmm. do resonate with me, then chances are you're going to change. Ah, see, you just let your your secret out of the bag. That's But that's amazing. (laughs) Um, And I love that because that talks to your credibility. I mean, that that you're literally saying, look, I'm not just going to work with everybody. I want to work with people who Mm -hmm. truly, truly, truly want to change. And we've talked about that on this series a lot, not just wanting to change, but the willingness to change. Um, And if that's you, and if Moz resonated with you, go check out the link. You can simply click on the special offer button that's on this page, and you will be sent right there. Moz, you've been amazing on this call. Is there anything else that you you know, any parting words of wisdom you want to share with us? Um, it's, you know, people for thousands of years have strived to reach 
where we're going to reach in this transition. And it's as easy as just connecting to that source. And that's all you really have to do. Just focus on that. And that's it. Yeah, you can beautiful. do it. I love that. And so everybody, that's that's what you're focusing on. Your new mantra is how can I best connect to pure source? Um, and I and I think that's so amazing, and it does for me at least. That that gives me huge amounts of relief. And I know that any time I've done that in my life, I can look back, and those are the happiest, most abundant times of my life. So obviously, mm-hmm. <laughs> obviously, you're right. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. You've just been wonderful, and your energy is just fantastic. So I. I so appreciate it for you know for everybody listening um i I thank you on behalf of them and for everybody who's listening i thank you all because you are just you are the people that really are helping not only move yourselves forward but the whole planet forward i I appreciate all of you for that so maz thank you so much have a wonderful rest of your night and uh we will all hopefully speak with you soon absolutely yes thank you